Demon Box is a collection of essays, short stories, and other works by Ken Kesey, the American author best known for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Published in 1986, Demon Box is a reflection on Kesey's own experiences, as well as a broader commentary on American culture during the 1960s and 1970s. The work is noted for its exploration of themes such as freedom, the counterculture movement, governmental authority, and the human spirit. At the core of Demon Box is the idea of wrestling with personal demons, both literal and metaphorical. The Demon Box of the title refers to a device once belonging to the author's grandfather, which could hold demons at bay, but it also represents the various psychological and social confines that Kesey and his contemporaries grapple with throughout the book. Kesey uses the metaphor of the box to discuss the societal pressures and restrictions that he and other members of the counterculture faced. The tales in Demon Box blend reality with fiction, featuring characters and situations inspired by Kesey's own life, as well as by the lives of his friends and family. One prominent figure in many of these stories is a character named DeForest Deloach McKinsey, who serves as Kesey's alter ego. Through Deloach's eyes, readers experience the highs and lows of life on Kesey's farm in Oregon, the road trips in the infamous Mary Prankster bus, and interactions with a diverse cast of characters including Hell's Angels, fellow writers, law enforcement officials, and members of the psychedelic community. The collection opens with Kesey recounting a drug bust that landed him in jail, offering insights into the legal and personal challenges he faced as a result. This incident ties into broader reflections on the failures of the justice system and the tension between individual liberties and state control. Throughout the book, Kesey delves into the significance of the Merry Pranksters and their iconic, painted bus named Further. The Prankster's journey is symbolic of the search for spiritual and cultural enlightenment outside the mainstream. Kesey touches on other key events of the era, such as Woodstock and the Vietnam War, framing them as pivotal moments in a societal shift toward a more open and questioning mindset. Demon Box also contains poignant observations about the human condition. Through these stories, Kesey shares his contemplations on love and relationships, the passage of time, death, and the interconnection of all living things. His prose is often lyrical, infused with the psychedelic imagery and non-linear narrative style that reflect his experiences with mind-altering substances and his affinity for myth-making. One of the more autobiographical stories now We Know How Many Holes It Takes to Fill the Albert Hall, finds Deloach Kesey reminiscing about a trip to London for a Beatles concert, which morphs into a strange adventure involving an esoteric society. This narrative is indicative of the way Kesey weaves together factual events with fantastical elements, creating a tapestry that blurs the lines between the real and the imagined. The Farm in Oregon where Kesey lived with his family and an ever-changing group of friends and followers, is portrayed as a sanctuary and a laboratory for exploring consciousness. Yet even as they strive to build a utopian community, they encounter the complexities of maintaining relationships and managing the stresses of daily life. Kesey captures the joys, sorrows, and paradoxes that define the countercultural experience. One of the most memorable pieces in Demon Box is an account of Kesey's journey to the Himalayas, where he seeks spiritual enlightenment. The physical and mental challenges of this expedition serve as an allegory for the inner quest for truth and transcendence that Kesey and his contemporaries undertake. Throughout the book, Kesey repeatedly confronts the institutions and conventions he perceives as oppressive or hypocritical. His criticism extends to the government, the war on drugs, the commodification of the counterculture, and even the literary establishment. Kesey acknowledges the irony in his dual role as a spokesperson for the countercultural movement and a published author embraced by the very system he opposes. Demon Box isn't just an exploration of the past. It's a call to its readers to engage with the present and to continue the pursuit of freedom and authenticity. Kesey offers no easy answers or solutions, but rather a series of vignettes and musings that invite reflection and debate. The work is a mix of nostalgia and a challenge to complacency, urging individuals to question authority and embrace the transformative power of art and community.
The collection ultimately serves as a tribute to Casey's friends and loved ones, particularly those who have passed away. The concept of the demon box allows Kesey to reconcile the loss and grief he encounters with a sense of hope and continuity. The demons he faces are both personal and collective, and the act of writing becomes a means of exorcism as well as a way to preserve memories and lessons learned. Through Demon Box, Kesey extends an invitation to readers to open their own boxes of demons, confront their fears and limitations, and find a sense of liberation in the process. Through his vivid storytelling and philosophical musings, he captures the essence of a transformative era and offers a testimony to the enduring human spirit.